It's all come down to this. One final fight for the Master Bracket. What's up, everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood, Dooley Ray, and this is the final war of Alliance War Season 3, War Number 12. My Alliance, Scroll Empire, is right on the edge of Master Bracket, ranked number 20. We have to win this war to even have a chance at staying in the Master Bracket. In fact, even if we win this war, we could potentially still be dropped to Platinum 1. What we have to do is get as few deaths as possible and win this war, and it's not going to be an easy fight. Uh, we're, t we're fighting against Zeus this time around, gods of Mount Olympus. We fought them earlier this season, and they, they beat us. So this is not going to be an easy match, and, you know, we're taking this 100%. We're going hard. We're boosting up, and we're taking them down. I don't know if they were taking it as serious as us. They were already locked into the master bracket, so they kind of got to uh, chill a little bit, but that doesn't mean they're taking it easy on us exactly. They're not just going to roll over and let us take them down. They're still going to place a hard, hard defense and play a pretty solid offense as well. So we got to play top notch here, and I'm taking in my regular team of Nebula, Void, and Sparky, as we do, and I'm taking path six. So let's go ahead and get this started. We've got an Awakened Science Champion up first, and it's looking like a rank 3. So I'm thinking Classic Spidey. Who else would it be? Um, Classic Spidey, and that means I'm taking in Sparky for this fight. I will boost myself up with my big boost. It's going to throw 30% on because I'm not dying. I am not going to die here, okay? Got a 30%. I think, let's see, I throw a 20% attack boost, and let's see... I have one invulnerability boost left, and I'm just I'm gonna save that for the all-or-nothing node just in case. I think that's the safe thing to do. Usually, it's pretty smart to to have an invulnerability for this node here because of the in aggression fury it can be a little bit sketchy. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw some combat regen onto myself just for these next three fights. If I can carry that over, I can save myself a few a few potions, and that would be pretty nice. But it turns out this fight is actually Luke Cage, uh, <laughs> which means it's gonna be pretty easy for me. Hopefully. I don't know. I still messed up against a Captain America on this node, so can I still mess up? Yes. And it's 100% possible. Uh, he's got an unblockable special one, so hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to dodge a special one. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Yeah, I got that. Am I worried here? No. I'm not messing up. Not today. Not this war. We have to win. <laughs> this, this is going down. This is, this is me playing top-notch right here. I end with a yellow bar, 100%. With the combat regen, of course. Uh, but next up, we do have a uh, five-star awakened meteor science champ on the Bane stun immune. I thought this was going to be a Modok, but there were no pers persistent charges. So it's a rank four. I'm going to go ahead and look at the profile here to see if I can get any clue as to who it might be. And it uh, looks like it's possibly going to be a Quake. So, I mean, I just got to play a little bit careful. It is stun immune, so I don't really want to bait out her heavy attacks. Because uh, she will put those aftershock charges onto me, and she goes ahead and she throws a heavy attack right there, right off the bat. So I'm just trying to, uh, I'm just gonna have to try and time this right with Bane, with that going. I just gotta be using a special attack while the aftershock is going. So I go ahead, throw my special, so I don't get stunned, just in case. And yeah, I'm gonna back off, try and let combat regen do a little bit of work, but I end the fight with like 88% health. So not the cleanest fight. I definitely could have done better. Aftershock did a lot of damage. And yeah, I, I'm going to need some more practice. So this up here is a rank 5 uh, skill champion. And initially I was like, oh, dude, this is going to be Blade. Yeah, 100%. I look at the profile, Killmonger. Whoa. Um, so now I'm thinking it might be a Killmonger. They may, there's a Killmonger on Note 29. So for diversity's sake, they may not have placed... They may have like placed the Blade here instead of Killmonger. But if they placed Killmonger here, I... Yeah, I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time. Killmonger is one of those uh, one of those characters that I have a harder time fighting. So I'm gonna go ahead back out of the fight just for a second. I want to go double check some stuff with my alliance and make sure that uh, that I I know what I'm getting myself into going into this fight. And uh, after I do that, I'm gonna go back in and we're gonna go ahead and get this fight started. All right, I've got fifth or ten seconds left on the combat regen, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that to my advantage. And Killmonger is about to go blade. Yes. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, oh. oh I just feel this wave of relief <laughs> as I go into this fight because I don't have to fight Killmonger. Thank goodness. All right, it's blade, which is it's not gonna be an easy fight. He's still a rank five. I do take a couple of stupid hits there, 
Um, that was my mistake. I'm not going to be taking any more. I've got the combat regen to back me up. I'm not going to try and attack into him after that special because I can't risk getting parried here. Um, building up my poise charges. I want to get to 10 and then I want to do as much damage as possible. So I'm stuck in the corner. I'm going to start pushing him away. Got him down below 80% health. And let's throw a special 2. See if we can do a lot of damage. We got him below 50% health. This is looking pretty okay, but I got to bait out a special 2 now. So... Let's play it a little bit careful if we can. He's back up to just under 60% health, and he's not throwing that special too. Bit of an issue. Yeah, he's at 76% health. Crap. Can you throw that special? Oh, there we go. Whew. It's starting to worry me a little bit. But I'm going to go in after that special too, and, uh... Man, I'm having a hard time taking him down. He's got a lot of health, and with that, uh, with that buffet going, he's giving me a hard time. So we got him down below 60% health again. I'm going to run out of parries here soon because of the limber node. And uh, yeah, he's, he's, he, I can't get him below that 50% mark. I'm having a hard time. So that was a little bit of a scary attack for me to do there. And if I get a couple crits here, it looks good. Yes. Oh, the fight is over. That wasn't so bad. Could have been worse. Um, I did make a couple of mistakes, but I'm not dying this war, guys. I'm telling you. I cannot allow myself to die. In fact, at this point in time... Uh, my alliance, I believe, had died zero times. I might, I might look at the scoreboard. Yeah, looking at the scoreboard here, if you see, uh, we haven't died a single time yet, and that carries over to the following day. And uh, I have a Hyperion up here on the All or Nothing node, so it's just going to be a little bit tricky to manage his power. I am going to be using Sparky, of course, to try and taunt out his special attacks, and uh, I'm not going to die. That's the plan. Game plan. So, I'm gonna go ahead and heal Sparky up before I boost myself, just to save myself some potions. You can be a little bit smart about that, it's not a bad idea. Um, gonna go ahead and throw another 30% onto myself, gonna boost up my attack as well. And, yeah, I think I have a, let's see, a health boost as well that I'm gonna use, just in case. I'm using all of the, <laughs> all of the gigantic boosts that I have left are going into this war, because we're winning. There's, there's no other, there's no other solution uh, it's not the word i was looking for but anyways we're starting this fight and uh, i'm gonna take down this hyperion starting things out gonna build up a couple of poise charges he throws a heavy attack that gives me an opening to put a taunt debuff onto him so i can get a special attack out of him and i do want to build up some more poise so I, I try and keep that taunt up on him while simultaneously trying to build up my poise charges it's a little bit tricky he's up above two bars of power now and uh get backed up a teeny bit and my power is drained. Crap, I could have thrown a special one and stunned him and then power drained him, and that would have been pretty effective, but... Anyways, he throws a special three. I'm not worried, though, because I got that invulnerability boost. I've still... I've got... Let's see, that's minus one charge there, so I've still got two charges to go. And, uh, yeah, I'm at six poise charges. Gonna be doing some damage, and... Uh-oh, I'm backed into the corner. Oh! The rest of my indestructible's gone. I need to... Yep, I hit him there, take him down, and, uh, get a power drain there. Whew! I played that a little bit, uh, a little sketchy. I do get a special two out there, and this fight has me a bit on edge. I have made a couple of mistakes now. The invulnerability is gone, and I just, I have to do damage. I have to take this guy down. He throws a special two, and thankfully I finish him off without dying. Whew. That was a little bit closer than I would have liked. I, I, if I could have attacked into him on that heavy attack instead of trying to dodge it, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, it's totally possible to hit him after he does that first hit on his heavy. Um, but I was just panicking, because I was stuck in the corner and I didn't want to get hit by him and lose the rest of my invulnerability charges, but I lost him. Anyways. Um, taking in Void in this fight here. It's a four-star Mystic Champion. Last time we fought these guys, they fought a Scarlet Witch here, so I'm assuming it's Scarlet Witch again. It's the same guy. Uh, so I'm assuming it's the same four-star. So I'm, Void is for the class advantage and for the... Uh, oh, I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb. Oopsies. <laughs> um... It's for the class advantage, and just because Void can do some degen damage, he's got some health, I've still got the invulnerability, I should be good to go. And, uh, this Scarlet Witch, not gonna be any trouble. I just gotta watch out a little bit for her power gain. I can't remember if she has Mystic Dispersion or not, but even if she does, I can take a couple of special threes if I need to. Uh, of course I don't, I don't specifically want to, but uh, it doesn't look like she has Mystic Dispersion, so I'm not in too much danger. And we're gonna get these debuffs up, start putting some degen damage onto her. Oh. I almost took a special one to the face. I managed to block it. That was just mistimed on my part, I suppose. Well, I've got a poison on me now. It's only doing 22 damage, though, with willpower going. And I'm um, getting lots of debuffs put onto me. I 
I think I'm healing. I'm actually healing more than I'm taking damage-wise. <laughs> and she goes down. So, yeah, not a, not a big deal there. Scar the Witch, not, uh, not a super crazy defender, but, uh, you know, you could slip up. I'm not going to slip up, though. Up next, we have a six-star mutant champion. There's no persistent charges, so that immediately takes out Bishop. Sabretooth, it's not going to be either of those. That leaves Cable. Um, Cable, what other mutants are available? All I can think of is Cable. <laughs> I'm assuming this next fight is going to be Cable. Uh, I don't think anybody's fought him so far. So it's Cable, or it's... What other mutant? Deadpool? X-Force? Who would place a Deadpool X-Force there? No, no way. Uh, I guess Storm is available as well. And there's one other mutant that I'm not thinking. Beast. Beast as well. So I'm really, I'm really thinking, I'm assuming this is going to be a cable up here. And as soon as that node over there gets taken down, I'm going to take this one down. And I'm still boosted up. I'm good to go. And I'm going to be using Nebula because this is a poison node. There's also brute force here. And, you know... I'm not gonna die. I'll say it time and time again. Not gonna die. I refuse to die. Um, so anyways, if, if it's a cable, it's no big deal. All I gotta watch out for is maybe his heavy attack. There's really nothing to be... Oh, rabid domino. Whoop, let me, let me back off for a second. Uh, get my mind set on what I have to do. Oh, my old nemesis. <laughs> I, I, I thought I wasn't gonna see you this time around, but... It's a freaking six star. She's not awakened though, so I'm not taking any degen damage. And even if she was awakened, I'd still take her down. Uh, she throws a special for me there. I love when Domino throws her specials because then she doesn't hit me with her special three, and that's fantastic. But anyways, with her medium opening, this node is no problem for me. And Nebula is just gonna go ahead and finish this fight. I think. I just gotta get one more intercept. So I'm gonna back off a little bit. Think about it. Think about it. Oh, there we go. Gonna throw a special two just to be safe. And she's dead. For the last time this season, Domino has been defeated. Thank goodness. All right. Well, that is the uh, end of the road for me here, I believe. All we have left to do is take down a couple of mini-bosses and a boss note as well. This war is... Um, well, I don't know if I want to say it's close, necessarily, because <laughs> we were taking it serious, and we didn't die all that many times. So, at the end of everything, we ended up taking the win! This time around, we won the war! Yes! Alright, that was step one. Step two, how many times did we die? I can't remember, but we died enough times to, uh, or we died few enough times <laughs> to be able to place ourselves in the master bracket. What the cha? We did it! We did it, guys. Uh, we did it. What can I say? Feels good. I'm not gonna take credit for any of this. This was 30 guys coming together. We all worked hard. There's nobody in particular. Well, I mean, Cade, our fearless leader, put in so much work. I gotta give him kudos for that, as well as the officers just organizing everything. They did an amazing job. And for us to uh, hit the master bracket this this first try here, I'm, I'm very, very impressed. And I'm just, I'm kind of in awe. We did, uh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's it, The credit doesn't go to me. It goes to the officers, leaders, and just the alliance in general. All 30 of us came together. We worked hard, and we played hard. And we did it. Yes. <gasps> all right, guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me, watching this season. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, good luck in the future seasons, I suppose. Till I see you next, hang in there. May the RNG be with you, and peace out. Peace <laughs> out.